Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a weekly read for the sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, does not matter. Any propensity of Scorpio that you may have in your chart or if there's someone you're dealing with that has that in their chart, um, you may find messages that resonate with you in this reading. Hopefully you do. And if you wanted a more personal reading, all that information can be found in the description box as well as pricing. And if you have not done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe. That will greatly be appreciated. And we're going to jump right into your reading Scorpio for the last week of November. November 29th to the 5th. What messages do we have for Scorpio? What messages do we have for Scorpio? Ooh. How many cards do we have here? All right. We're going to continue shuffling. See what else we have for the sign of Scorpio for the last week of November. Messages for their greatest and highest good. What else do we have for Scorpio? Starting off pretty good. Let's see what else we have for Scorpio. Scorpio. Those two flew right out. Two more. Also got this card for Pisces. Got a card here that Pisces had. Could be dealing with the Pisces. Could be dealing with a Gemini or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could have those propensities in your chart. Those are the signs I'm seeing right now. One more card for Scorpio, please. What else do we have for Scorpio? Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups. Definitely, um, definitely getting the vibe of some type of a relationship here um six of cups speaks to past life people that we know um, from childhood or it could be a soulmate situation a romantic situation someone that we've dealt with romantically from the past someone that we've known from childhood someone we have very fond memories with um someone that we think about and we feel warm and fuzzy on the inside or it could be someone you've never met before but someone that maybe is tied to you in some sort of past life relationship you might be encountering in this life so nice energy at the bottom of the deck for you scorpio and that is water as well so you could be dealing with another water sign as well but the first card out your crowning energy we have major arcana the lover's card as i said could be dealing with gemini or could have that energy in your um chart but gemini the lover's card sorry speaks to a choice that um, we need to make in some sort of matters of the heart, whether it's between two people that we're choosing or if we're choosing just whether or not to go into union with someone else, to join lives with someone else. But whatever situation, um, relationship this is pertaining to, it is um, a divinely guided situation because we do see the angel here. So it's a relationship that um, is heavily, heavily protected by the divine and uh, a union that is very valid. The next card out, we have the Eight of Cups, more um, some water energy. The Eight of Cups speaks to walking away from thing, a life that we've already established, whether it's a life, a relationship, a job, somewhere that we've put a lot of time and effort into, but not f being fulfilled by whatever we've already have established, even though it may have taken us a very long time. And we put a lot of energy into building whatever it is that we built. Um, we're finding that it still doesn't quite satisfy our need. Um, it doesn't, you know, fulfill us the way it needs to. So walking away from everything and following your intuition to find what it is that your heart is truly desiring, whether that's you or someone else. Next card out, we have the Knight of Wands. Could be dealing with a fire sign. As I said, um, Sagittarius, Leo, or what's the last one? Leo, Leo, Sag. I don't remember the last one right now, but <laughs> this um, figure could be a masculine and not necessarily a male, but just masculine and energy at the moment. But this is someone that takes charge, that goes for what that goes for what they want. They see something, they go for it. They're passionate, driven, which is the most 
pretty much the best fuel you can have to get you to accomplish things if you're passionate about it, right? We'll see things right through the end if our heart and our passion is involved. So this is someone that has that and definitely having their eyes set on something. So whether someone is leaving something and they know exactly what they're going for, this could be you. This is someone in, someone looking at you this way. They're leaving something else in order to come towards you. They're leaving a way of life to come towards you because you're what they want. They are what you want. Someone is making a choice possibly to leave behind an old lifestyle, to leave behind an old partner, um, a previous marriage could be, and to pursue something that they're really passionate about, something that drives them crazy, something that helps them get out of bed in the morning, so to speak, whether that is you or someone looking at you this way. The next card out we have is the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is the energy of losing sleep over some sort of matter, some sort of thing that we deem as a problem or an issue in our life. So not being able to sleep, cold sweats, nightmares, anxiety, all that, because we're overthinking whatever situation that we're, we're giving so much power to, right? So definitely could be a relationship, whether this is you or someone else looking at you overthinking the situation that you guys are in together because maybe there is some sort of choice that needs to be made so it's weighing really heavily on whoever's mind that needs to make this decision but um i think that's a passing energy because you know we do have the knight of the king of wands and he knows exactly what he wants and he goes for it right so i think um we're moving away maybe from this type of overthinking energy whether this is you someone looking to move away from the overthinking energy and put the action in that they need they've made the decision they know what they want and they're ready to go for it right last card out we do have the three of pentacles so you or someone else looking at you is definitely looking to build some type of solid foundation someone is definitely making a choice to collaborate right and Mind, mind, body, spirit, these two and God, whatever relationship this is pertaining to, this is definitely a divinely guided, protected situation, this relationship. And if you've been your head about it or this person that you've been dealing with has been in their head about it because maybe they have to leave some things behind in order to pursue this, this is just temporary. They will overcome that because the King of Wands overcomes anything to get what he truly desires because it's this passion that's driving him. So someone is going to make the choice to overcome this energy of overthinking and being in their head because there's work to be done, you know? Someone wants to build, someone wants to do the long haul with you in some sort of situation, some sort of relationship dynamic. Definitely, definitely could be romantic. I'm going to go ahead and pull a card from the Romance Angel card for you, Scorpio, to further see. Two just popped out, so three popped out. Two popped out. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others and reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. Definitely. Definitely could be some romance going on here. Someone is leaving something in order to come straight to you. They've made the decision, they know what they want, and what they want is to build. Let your friends help you. Maybe this is you asking for advice from your girlfriends, boyfriends. This is the person that's coming towards you, discussing it with, you know, their friends. What do they think about it? Because they're definitely in their head about it. Someone's in their head about something. So someone could definitely be getting advice about the situation. But all in all, they're ready to move forward. They've made the decision. They know what they want and they're ready to move towards that. I'm going to also pull an animal wisdom oracle for you, Scorpio, to further build on your last week of November. What energies we have for you. We have three cards. First card, Nightingale Spirit. Love is all around. So this could definitely be a romantic relationship for a lot of you. If there was someone that was tied up in a certain lifestyle or another relationship, um, they're definitely making the decision to walk away. They've made the decision. 
they were divinely guided to make this decision. This relationship is definitely protected, even though they might have been in their head or you might have been in your head. And it was definitely hard to walk away from whatever it is you're walking away from. Someone is definitely taking action and moving straight towards what it is that makes them happy. Next card out, we have Badger Spirit. Be fearless and bold. Absolutely. Be fearless and bold. So whoever is coming towards you or whoever you're going towards, you're definitely standing in your power. You know what you want. Be fearless and bold. This That's this guy all day. And your last card out is White Raven Spirit. Trust in the magic. Definitely magic. Divinely guided magic. Divinely protected. Okay. Those are the messages I have for you, Scorpio. Hopefully you found something that resonated. If you did, thumbs up this video for me. And until next time.